Hello, welcome to the vlog. Hope you're all doing well. I am at Bodmin Jail. I say I, we are at Bodmin Jail. Alex is just outside. And we are here for the night. They kindly invited us and it's 10 to 2 and we've got a tour of the jail. I think that they renovated Bodmin Jail within the last year or two and it looks so cool. Like it really looks lovely. So I'm really excited to see what it's like. And I don't think in my memory anyway that I have been here. I might have done when I was younger because maybe with school we came here and I've just forgotten, but it looks so cool. So we'll take you around and show you um, because if it is a nice hotel and everything, it could be quite a cool place to come and visit because it is actually near a lot of cool things, uh, including Lanhydrock and Cardinham Woods. I grew up near Liscard, like in North Cornwall. So I'm more familiar with this area of Cornwall. Now we live in West Cornwall, so much further down. And I'm just really looking forward to it. So let's go have a little tour around the jail. I feel like I'm looking forward to the spooky stuff. I hope they make some of it a bit spooky. <laughs> Excited. I'm scared. <laughs> we are here and we live all the way down here. We're about to go down a dark cavern. I'm scared. Wow, so that's where the treadmill was invented. Yes. Well, this, you just sort of step on it and... Yeah. This is creepy. Isn't it? Wait. We're in a jail. Alex, don't even joke. Oh my god. Every time he, do, he keeps on scaring me. And every time I, it happens, I press the record button because I get a freak. <laughs> it's actually terrifying being here, thinking that if you committed a cr like some, I was just saying to Alex, some of these crimes are like a woman getting her own back or like being done over. Like, like, oh! like there was one where, where a man promised to marry her if she got rid of her child. I think she probably had no money. So she killed her child. And then she went to jail. And it's just like, imagine if you, I mean, obviously that she murdered her child, that's horrendous. I mean, um, imagine if you were in jail, like they, they were saying that kids would go to jail for like stealing a comb. Like, ugh. ooh, it's really creepy being in here. What are you reading there? Um, who owes me money? You sure? Yeah. Sure it's not the law? This is the Gowell and House of Correction, County of Cornwall. Jail. Rules made by, huh? Jail. Is that how jail used to be spelled? Yeah. No, it's not right. Yeah. No, it's not. Yes. You're lying. <laughs> Rules made by justices in sessions. That's not right. You're making that up. 
right. Jay, I want to ask a question. Is that like lost in translation over time? You can spell it differently. Mm. <laughs> If you live in Cornwall growing up, everyone talked about the Beast of Bobbin Moor. I secretly believe it's just a way of terrifying children because there would always be photos circulating. I remember this one photo growing up that was circulating of the Beast of Bobbin Moor. But like how, what? Look how creepy this is. Like the sleepers. So cool. Just got in the room and it is so amazing. Let me show you. So I think I just got a shot of the um, the hallway, the corridor downstairs, the entrance. But look at this. So they properly kept intact the feeling of a jail because of all the granite, which I just love. If you've ever visited Cornwall, you know that all the houses, all the buildings are made from granite because that's the stone that is used and um, quarried and mined hit mined is that the right word um it's the stone that everyone uses our house is made of granite and i just absolutely love that it's all on show so you come in and it's like this amazing and look at these windows because obviously the they've got the original i guess jail windows outside oh wow look at the arch and then over here because I was wondering actually whether it would be really dark, but they've lit it so beautifully. Like, look at the light behind the bed. Yeah. Because it's obviously got the smaller windows, but look how cool. And they've got lights behind here. I, do you know what one of my favourite things is? Oh my gosh, that's cool. One of my favourite. <laughs> one of my favourite things is when, because um, you often find this in like Cornish cottages, when it's that curved um plastering around windows i think it's so beautiful isn't it cool so i think she was saying that downstairs would have been underground so this bit would have been so it has a feeling of being underground doesn't it this was the ground floor but i look at all the granite on show so this would have been like literally a, these would have been like probably like if two jail cells this is the first floor yeah but this is also the first floor in the uk <laughs> and then what is this Maybe that would have been like where they would have put through food and stuff. But the bathroom, look at this bathroom. First of all, look at this mirror. But look at all of the granite, the stone, and then the bath. The tiles are stunning. And all the granite all the way up around the top. It's so cool that the granite goes all the way around got this huge mirror the lighting is so lovely oh my gosh it's so nice I'm so happy to be staying here ah. so if you are in coming to Cornwall it's definitely a good place to book yeah that's so cool yeah well that's something you could consider for the um yeah. Huh. Um, if yeah, if you are coming to call, like Bodmin has a bit of a reputation for not being the nicest place, but if you stayed somewhere, I feel like if you're a tourist, so that's only to locals because Bodmin's a bit dodgy. Um, well, we learnt on the tour that that lady she put a curse on the town of Bodmin, which makes sense. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's just kind of like a, a a local known thing that Bodmin's a bit dodgy, but I think that's just like you know if you live somewhere you think oh those are not so nice as a place, but if you came to stay here you did the jail tour there's so many places to visit around here that are amazing like Lanhydrock is a national trust home and it is so beautiful 
and really worth a visit. There's also Cardinham Woods, which I used to go to a lot. You can do like a, a cycle path around there, like with mountain bikes, which is really fun. Or you can just go on a walk with your dog or your family. Um, you're pretty close to the Eden Project because you're near St. Austell, which is obviously like a really great place to visit in, in Cornwall. And I suppose the benefit of coming to this part of Cornwall rather than going down further to the beaches is that you are still close to the beaches. Like you can still get to Newquay, which is a really popular place for beaches because you're kind of like further up. Even um, like Tintagel and um, St. Agnes, those kind of places. But what? what have they got something fancy? We get our toilet roll stamp. That's cool. What's it like the, uh, like a wax seal? I think they probably um, wet it a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, you could do all the tourist attractions and just do it from here and you wouldn't have to worry about Bodmin too much as a place. But the thing about any any town like Bodmin or like other towns in Cornwall that aren't the prettiest is the places around them. I was actually saying this to my dad last night because um, Camborne, again, is another place that's kind of renowned for not being the nicest. But the the countryside the walks the 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 area around it is so beautiful that it's still like if you were to stay in a hotel in Camborne, you would still have an amazing experience because of visiting all the different places around there mm. so like yeah i just think that this would be so fun if you're coming to Cornwall. you didn't want to oh that was what i was saying the benefits you don't have to go quite so far down because it adds like an extra hour so like this took an hour for us to drive here from where we are um, it adds like an extra hour to go deeper into Cornwall to places like St Ives and um, Penzance or Mausel, which are all very like popular spots. Is this at all close to Foy? How long would it take to get to Foy from here? <sighs> Foy, eh? Can you look it up? I'm gonna say oh, half an hour. I've only been there once. Foy is another very fancy, very popular oh yeah half an hour let me say? just have a look at the map they were talking about bodmin moor on the tour i grew up on bodmin moor like i literally my house growing up was on bodmin moor mm. so you, um you were born in a ditch weren't you <laughs> so i know i wasn't born in i was born in surrey <laughs> i moved down here when i was three you come from mud but um bodmin and bodmin moor is like where i grew up so yeah, Padstow. So you're very close to Padstow, which is a really, really famous place in Cornwall. Very expensive, but if you want to go to like all the fancy restaurants um, and all the... Is it, is it Rick Stein that's in Padstow? Uh, There's lots so. of very that's nice restaurants in Padstow. Vehicles, um, yeah, you're close enough to Newquay. You're close enough to Tintagel, Boss Castle, mm -hmm. Port Isaac. Um, you're close to St. Austell. So um, like I said, Eden Project. So it's, it is like... I feel like some people come to Cornwall and they're just like, oh, I just have to go to St. Ives, I just have to go to Newquay. But there are so many other places and actually, as a person who lives in Cornwall, sometimes when you go to those places, it's really overwhelmingly busy, which for me personally, I find quite off-putting <laughs> because it's a lot. Um, so this is definitely a different option, especially if you don't want to drive quite as far. You're also close-ish close to Bude. How long would it take to get to Bude? Both Bude's a bit far, really. I don't think it would, I think wow, Bude would take too long. Yeah, no, Bude's really far away. It seems closer than it is. It's yeah. No, I think massive. if I was to be, if, if you were to come to Bodmin Jail and stay here, just let me be your tour guide. I would go to Padstow. Oh. I'd go to Lanhydrock. I'd consider an afternoon jaunt at Cardinham Woods. I would think about visiting Foy and also the Eden Project because those would be the, the best places, I think, nearby. And also go to Bod Bodmin Moor. Um, you can climb Brown Willie. <laughs> which is funny but um we did that and if you are into like hiking and stuff then that's a really fun day out thank you sorry i'm covering the light so yeah there's my little tour guide info as a cornish um what's it called when you live somewhere cornish person no a cornish resident <laughs> uh she mentioned at reception she was like one second she said um later you can go through the champagne bar to dinner and this <clears throat> restaurant as well i think it's like very very fancy mm. so do you want to know how much the chips cost how much aside? guess everyone place your bets 10 pounds six pounds wow <laughs> i would like to order some you chips. guess 10 pounds 
Yeah, because I, I was doing what you do, you'll guess over. Mm. Oh, we didn't give a brief, uh, debrief of the tour. That was so good. The Bodmin Jail thing experience. Very spooky, I'm gonna have trouble sleeping. It was really good. So like, it was a proper 4D experience. I don't want to give it away, but like you go through, he said that they have spent 65 million pounds on the restoration of Bodmin Jail, including the hotel and all of that. And it was really fun. Like I am quite, I'm a bit like judgy about those kinds of things. And I often find those kinds of things quite boring, but it was probably 4D. So we got water sprayed on us and like there was like smoke and wind and, it was really fun. Like, I thoroughly enjoyed it. What's the fourth D? What? 4D? Yeah. Four dimensions? Yeah, what's the fourth dimension? The senses. So, oh. like, wind and rain and stuff. Okay, I thought the fourth dimension was time. Oh, shut up. Did you f have fun? Yes. That's something I would actually say to my friends and family who live down here. I'd say you should do that if you're around yeah. here because it's fun. For the price, I actually thought it was really yeah, good. Yeah, because it said it was fifteen pounds or twelve pound fifty concessions. Yeah. And I just think, if you're in this, I don't know. I thought it was really good. I thought it was well worth it. It was. I was happy. I could have happily just walked around there for a while. Yeah. Without spoiling it, you get to go through a secret, uh, like a, a passage opens behind a bookcase, which <gasps> I've always wanted to do. Alex, you just spoiled it. Okay, well, you just cut this. Cut this. But yeah, it was really fun. So. Yeah. I think we're going to lie down for a minute or two and then we're going to go get some Come champagne. The thing is, because we're here now, I'm like, I didn't actually think about what we're going to do in the time between now and dinner. We'll walk around Bodmin Town. Because like it's four o'clock and I'm like, what do we do now? Maybe. Because it's a Friday for us, so we finished all our work early. <laughs> and I'm like, what do we do? I guess we'll just lie around. Uh, Relax. Watch Stranger Take Things. Take a seat in my backyard. Okay, you gonna watch Stranger Things or Kenobi? Very funny. You didn't say. We'll see you at the champagne bar. <laughs> Good evening. So I'm just dressed and ready, and I thought I'd show you my outfit. This is a new dress. I got this from Faithful the brand. I think that's what it's called. It's very booby. <laughs> I feel very booby, but um whatever who cares kind of love the sleeves and then the back i get in the back for you um it's nice and open then it's got those two lovely bows and then it's a nice little flirty skirt and then i've got my vivea shoes on and then my little jw pay wallet which kind of looks like a clutch bag and then my makeup is how it always is <laughs> so we're gonna head to the champagne bar though alex has taken quite a while so i don't know if we'll have time <laughs> Good morning. We just checked out of Bodmin Jail Hotel and we had such a lovely stay. We were just saying how wonderful that was. The staff were all so lovely. It properly felt like, I don't know, very luxurious, but also very cool. Yeah. Like something different. Yeah. And last Absolutely. night the meal was There's amazing. Really nice food, really nice room. Yeah, and all the staff were so friendly. And I've really missed a dining experience like that because a lot of the time we go to... <laughs> a lot of the time we go to vegan restaurants, but it's more like very relaxed. It's more like a diner or like takeaway kind of vibe. 
and I really miss that fine dining sort oh, yeah, of yeah. Fi that was a five course meal um that kind of experience and where, where it's like it's just but I find that very relaxing mm. and the wine was delicious the food was really nice I had such a nice time and yesterday when we got into the room I just had a nap and it was so nice just to be like on a Friday just think oh I just don't want to do anything like I started saying to Alex like oh maybe we should like do some wedding planning or stuff and I thought no I'm just gonna lie here and relax yeah, yeah, yeah. um well, you know, so we kind of had a holiday or anything like that I, yeah ages ago we go away sometimes but not like no it's always doing something if you're going away it's usually work or seeing someone or yeah, and you're usually kind of, you've got a plan to do stuff, so it was really yeah. nice just to be like, we have no nothing to do. It was so calm in there, everything smelt nice. It was really calm. It was quiet. It was quiet, yeah. really relaxing. The bed was comfortable, the room was, re I loved the room. Yeah. Honestly, lovely, lovely, positive experience. So thank you so much to Bodmin Jail for having yeah. us in the I hotel. Like I like it, check out time, you see everyone coming out. The yeah, time. yeah. Even get to the last minute. Shall I? Shall yeah, I let's go. Off? We're going to yeah. Land Hydrock now. Um, which is 10 minutes from here, so it's really perfect location for that. Closer than I thought it was. Yeah, it's really close. Um, so is Cardin and Woods. Uh, really, really yeah. close. And Eden Project's not far from here either. What I didn't realise was some of the rooms there are dog friendly. Are they? Yeah, I didn't know that. We could have brought Roxy and... Um, oh, don't tell me that now. We could have gone to the woods. Oh. <laughs> don't tell her. Well, she's having a fun time. Rolling in cow poo. Yeah. She has actually rolled in cow poo today. She has. Didn't make that up. We've made it to Lanhydrock. It was really hard. It's a hard journey. <laughs> I haven't been here. I think the last time we went here was maybe, I think it was about 2016. Because mm. I think I have a vlog on it. Huh. Uh, or at least if we don't have a vlog, I had some photos when we were there. We took some photos. For a very long walk. Well, we frolicked, frolicked in the um, all the autumn leaves, and I got some cute photos of that. Oh yeah. But I used to come to Lanhydrock when I was younger a lot because we went to this festival called Lanhydrock Rock Meets Blues. If you're from Cornwall and you grew up here, you might remember that festival. I don't think they do it anymore, but it's one of the highlights of my whole childhood because it was the best thing. You came with a car filled with picnic food and drinks and like everything and you went with like your friends and you just sort of sat out in the field and then they had a big concert with um, loads of rock and blues music and it was so fun and I yeah I really wish they still <coughs> did it. Maybe they still do in some form. I don't know I feel like Maybe. they cancelled it oh. but um yeah it's very beautiful here and then also we can go look around the gardens and also the house. Uh, I kind of wish we had Roxy with us, but also I don't think we could be able to go around the house if we had Roxy, so. Uh, couldn't let her off the lead either. No. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to it. It's the perfect day, the weather is immaculate. Now I'm gonna go find another bit. It's so bright today. 
Oh, it's so beautiful in there. Yeah. All the woodwork. It's amazing. Would you say it's better than our house? Not really. Uh, these gardens are okay, I guess. This. Something about like, you know, sort of, whenever you go to grand manor houses, when you go around the sort of main grand bit and like, wow, this is cool. When you go to like the, the downstairs, the work floors, the kitchen, it's like the rustic spot. Mm. Like in Downton Abbey, like the house is great, but I love the kitchen. And um, Anne with an E, because she just lives in like a really modest house in Canada. Their kitchen is just like, oh, look at this, the wood. And you always wanted a, like a plate holder like that. Thank you, Maid. Perfect. Lunch. <laughs> they had so many vegan things, didn't they? they had Alex has got himself like a cheese and pesto for catch a toasty. They had soup, they had cookie, they had chocolate, they had scones, they had... I couldn't believe the vegan options. I thought they would be like nothing. Mm. Very impressed, National Trust. We're just making our way through the gardens now. We've ended up in, is it the Great Wood? Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. 100 acre wood. <laughs> and it's so peaceful. Like when we first got here, I thought, oh no, it's gonna be so busy. Cause there was lots of people in the sort of entrance way. But when you come, cause it's so massive here. I think it's got 900 acres. There's so much to walk around and this is the perfect place for children because there's so many families, aren't there? Yeah. I'm really out of focus the whole time. Sorry if that last clip was all out of focus. Um, yeah, it's really suitable, I think, for families because there's so many families just sort of sitting on the lawn. You can sit and go anywhere you like and then all the kids are just running around having a great time. Yeah, apart from the place you just tried to go into. Yeah, we went the wrong way. <laughs> and the guy was like, yeah, it's not this way, go that way. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I was going to mention my sunglasses because I realised I don't think I've shown them on YouTube. I do have a discount code for these. Um, Parla sent me these recently. You'll know that I did a collab with them. Was it last summer? I think so. Yeah, that was really fun um, where I designed my own sunglasses. And they're, pretty, they're the only sunglasses brand that I own. And they sent me these ones recently which are kind of green. Can you see that they're green? I think you can kind of see that, maybe not very clearly, but they've got like a slight green shade to them. And I really like the shape of them because they're very just subdued and simple, nothing too um, out there, which is a nice everyday pair of sunglasses. And I do have a discount code, so I thought I'd pass that on. Uh, not commission link or anything, not sponsorship. They sent me the glasses, but if you're after a new pair, because I know that um, these are a bit more high end, 
but if you want to get a pair of sunglasses that you can keep forever and like keep for years like all the parlor ones i have i wear every year though i did lose a pair i don't know where they where i've put them because i'm horrendous at losing sunglasses but the quality of them remains so good rather than buying like new sunglasses. I used to buy new sunglasses every year because they would break. If you oh. want a pair of sunglasses you'll keep for a few years until you lose them, they're great. <laughs> I'm not going to lose these. You're pushing me over to the side. Crikey, I'm going to fall into the woods. My sunglasses, uh, these are from Glasses Direct. Yeah, you've got uh, a prescription. I don't have an affiliate link, but if you just type in Glasses Direct voucher code onto Google, <laughs> you'll you probably get something. <laughs> Oh, I get a sponsorship for Glasses Direct for Alex. Uh, they were actually buy one, get one free, so. Ah. Lucky me. <laughs> Good afternoon, Miss. Hello. I'm back home. We had. Maybe I should sit down actually. I'm gonna be ducking otherwise. I couldn't be bothered to um I couldn't be bothered to bring my tripod in here. So I'm in the garage, which is a little bit of a sneak peek because a lot of you have been asking what's going on with the garage? Why have you not updated me? The garage was actually finished a while ago. The reason that there has been a delay is because of getting a sofa. We were waiting on a sofa for a really long time and then that ended up being like cancelled and so now we've got a new one which is literally coming tomorrow and I'm so excited because this sofa is really sustainable. Basically it's the most sustainable sofa on the market because everything about it is thought through and um, considered and it's ethical, it's vegan and it's just, it's very, very cool. So um, you'll see that hopefully in the video when I share the full garage makeover. But today we are in here, so I'm gonna be vlogging and you might see a few little sneak peeks. <laughs> Hopefully the garage makeover will come in the next few weeks because when the sofa arrives, we can finish decorating. So we need to get like some paintings and maybe some side tables and just put stuff on the shelves. So today we're doing kind of the more fiddly bits. So I'm gonna be doing a bit of snagging because I'm a perfectionist. It's obviously all been painted in here beautifully, but I'm just, I'm gonna do a bit of the snagging that happens, you know, when you're, when you have renovations. So I'm gonna do a bit of touching up. And then Alex is gonna try and sort out the projector. So we're gonna set the projector up in here. It's already in here, but we need to put the projector screen up. And I wanna move the peloton, because right now it's down here, and I think I want it up that end. And also I want to hang our curtains, because we got curtains a while ago, and we haven't hung them, because they're for the French door. And also, if we don't already have blinds, I think Alex has got blinds, but um, if not, we need to order them. And we need to order our radiator. I'm not gonna wait for those things to arrive to show you the video though, because that might be a while, but we're getting like an electric radiator that looks like an old one. So when we were in the Cotswolds, in that cute little house that we um, stayed in, the cute little cottage, she had an electric radiator that was like an old cast iron one. So we're getting one of those because I just think it would look really cool. Um, and yeah, we just basically, this room has just been lying dormant for a long time. So I'm just really looking forward to having this as a, a living room. And I love it in here. The feeling in here is amazing. It's so bright. And because it's new, it does feel different to the house because the house is obviously old. This is essentially an entirely new building. I mean, obviously it was a barn kind of thing. It was a garage, but everything about it is new apart from this wall. Obviously that's like a, an old wall, but it just feels lovely and brand new in here and oh, I can just imagine myself working in here as well because sometimes you don't want to work in an office and sometimes being in our living room, it's a little bit darker in there. So in here it's so bright. I can just imagine myself lounging on the sofa. <sighs> anyway, um, I think the last update was in Lanhydrock. We had such a lovely day in Lanhydrock. Definitely recommend going there. It was so beautiful. And I don't think I've ever gone around the house inside or if I have done, it was a really long time ago and it was so beautiful. We just had the loveliest day and to walk around, oh, I just, I loved every minute of it. It was so wonderful. Um, I wanna go back there next year because they had a magnolia tree growing up the house and I really wanna go there in spring because there weren't that many flowers. That was the only thing I think that would be nice. I think they were replanting a lot of the flower beds um, because there really weren't that many flowers anywhere and i'd love to go in spring to see if there are more flowers anyway 
So I think I'm gonna start by going and getting the paint and touching up just around the edge. And then I probably would need Alex's help to put up the curtain pole over the French door. Yeah, and I also want to water the plants because I put plants in here like a week or two ago and I haven't watered them yet, so I don't want them to die. But they are looking pretty great. I think this room, I want to have lots of plants in here and collect plants over time because we've got a beam up the top. Can you see that beam? And I think it would look quite nice to hang a few plants from there because I actually do have a few little like hangy plant holders and this room I think can look a bit more, I don't know, more relaxed, a bit more modern than the rest of the house. Oh, I just love being in here. I just can't wait until our patio is done and the septic tank is finished because the septic tank is getting done tomorrow. So I'll end this video and then I'll start a new vlog um, tomorrow, hopefully documenting the septic tank. I mean, that's so fascinating, isn't it? <laughs> what shall I title that video? <laughs> septic tank installation. <laughs> Well, hopefully I'll be able to uh, document the experience and then when the builders come back, we can vlog the patio being done because that is so exciting. I can't wait because this room, when you open the French doors, it goes into like the patio area where there'll be hopefully a really nice patio. And Alex and I were talking about all the plans for that. Like I really want to potentially build in a sofa because I was looking at photos of like sleeper patios and loads of them had like built in sofas. And I just thought that would be so cool to have the end, especially because the end of the patio, I'll probably talk about this in another video, but the end of the patio, because of the slope in our garden, it's really high up. And I was worried if kids came round or pets, that they would fall off the edge unless we put like a big fence up, which I didn't think would look very good. So I think the solution is to build a sofa at the bottom so that it's a bit higher. Um, and then you know not to go any further because you, 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 know, you can't get any further because there's a sofa there. And I think that would solve the problem and also be very uh, sensible and useful. So we can have the sofa built in and then a fire pit and then the table further up. And I was also thinking if we're going all out, why not build in also an area for a barbecue? You know how those outdoor kitchens where it's all kind of built in. That might come later. I'd have to speak to the builders because they may say that's not really their expertise and it's better just to like get someone who knows how to do that kind of thing and build that in. But that would be quite cool to have something to like, put, we've got like a pizza oven, something to put the pizza oven on. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up and start painting. Yeah, I've gotta go find the paint. <laughs> It is nine o'clock. <laughs> I didn't vlog the rest of the day. Um, had a bit of an anxious day, if I'm honest, um, and I forgot about vlogging. I did get the painting done though, which is great. Oh my gosh, I need to show these flowers. They have all bloomed. <gasps> They've all bloomed since I've been away and I've only now just properly looked at them. Look at these puff. I did this in an Instagram story once, listen. Look at these incredible flowers these are alliums i always forget the name of these but they are one of my favorite flowers and then i put these daisies in from another bouquet because the rest of the flowers were dead but these daisies still looked great so i shoved them in because they're a really similar color and look how beautiful it smells amazing you've got these thistles and i'm actually having those um for my wedding which is lovely and these alliums are beautiful i want to plant these in the garden when we get around to doing it wow look at that the most beautiful bouquet this is freddie's flowers honestly i just absolutely love it i sit here every morning to have my breakfast i often light i've got little candles in here these are from um zero waste path they're such lovely candles that one's actually finished um but i put them in these little terracotta pots because i just think they look really nice and i just can smell the flowers and it's the perfect start to the day 
anyway <laughs> yeah I thought I'd just say goodbye I got all the painting done and oh, I, I'm getting so distracted look at the clouds look at these amazing pink fluffy clouds I feel like the sunset's going to be beautiful I got the painting touch-ups done we put the projector screen up though we did realize we've ordered the wrong projector screen because um, it needs to be a wide angle one but it's fine because we know how easy it is to put up now so I think we'll just keep that up and then um, when the new one arrives we'll swap them over and then return the other one and we just need to one evening this week maybe tomorrow when the sofa's in so we can then sit down and see how it works when it's dark because it does get dark quite late um, and we haven't got the curtain up yet and we haven't got the blinds for the uh, Velux yet. We do have blinds but they're for the Velux that we ordered first and we got the, the Velux, there's like a whole palaver with the Velux which delayed the whole garage renovation and they don't fit these ones <laughs> so we're gonna have to sell those. So Alex I think he's gonna order the new blinds, maybe we could get the curtain up this week as well and we can test the projector screen and set it all up properly and I'm this evening I'm gonna have a bath and I'm gonna look online on Facebook marketplace because there are a few extra bits we need for the room I haven't really bought a lot for that room because I didn't want to until the projector screen was in and the sofa was in and it's really tempting to go and buy stuff for rooms before it's finished but I really would recommend getting the main piece of furniture in first then getting a feel for it because the bits like the cushions and the sort of side tables and stuff they're so easy to buy really quickly and like manage to find them on Facebook Marketplace quickly unless you know for sure there's like an item that you need. But in there right now, once we've got the sofa, we've got this amazing cabinet that was my parents and they used to have their LPs in there growing up. So it's like a really lovely piece of furniture. And then we've got the Peloton and then we also have a chair coming, but that's not gonna come for like, maybe like 11 weeks from now. Cause I think, yeah, I think it'd be about 10, 11 weeks from now because obviously it's made to order um, the sofa we're getting is coming tomorrow and then other than that it's just maybe like a console table a side table kind of want maybe some kind of table for drinks um maybe a mini fridge like i said we need a radiator and we've got some plants in there but i might get a couple more plants and just like accessories to the shelves like i might get some vintage knickknacks for the shelves to sort of um to style them maybe like a basket for blankets that kind of thing but those are all the fun bits I really enjoy shopping for those sorts of things so I'm sure when the sofa arrives tomorrow I can get a clearer idea of what we need when everything's kind of in there and arranged. Oh also I really want to get a lovely painting or two by a Cornish artist because when we moved house I said Alex we absolutely need to get a painting from by a Cornish artist as a present to ourselves for moving and then we never got one and I think it was because there was just so much renovating going on that we got distracted and we were just like let's focus on paying for the renovation because art is very expensive but in that room it's a little bit more modern in that room like I said earlier so I think a painting that maybe a landscape painting that's on a canvas would suit that room really well we've already actually got a painting that definitely needs to go in there that uh, my sister and brother-in-law got us for Alex and I's joint birthday present because it's a painting of where we got engaged and that would suit so well in there because it is a bit more modern the way it's been framed and when I tried to put it in our living room it didn't look quite right because of the colour on the wall so I think it will look great in there and I just think either side of the projector to have two paintings that are in a similar style or maybe even just different altogether I don't know I just I'm just envisaging some paintings going in there um but that, that also is something that might take time because you don't want to buy paintings just for the sake of it. You want to actually like find ones that suit. Anyway, I've really talked for a long time and this was supposed to just be a quick goodbye. Maybe you can tell my anxious, um, nervous energy right now. It's just been one of those days, had a real health anxiety trigger and just sometimes that happens and there's nothing you can do apart from just like try and take a breath. Um, so I'm gonna have a bath and that should help and look on Facebook Marketplace and, face and um, Pinterest, which always helps. And I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in my next one, which will either be a food video or it will be some information, information, or it will be some updates on the septic tank and maybe a garage makeover soon. I'm hoping that by the end of this week, the garage will be 90% done with a few things on their way, <laughs> which would be so good. And we can watch some movies in there. <gasps> Yay. Anyway, see you soon. Bye.